Welcome to the Western Interdisciplinary Research Building, home of the Brain and Mind at Western University. Join me as we take a virtual tour of our cognitive neuroscience research facilities. First, let's look at the offices and workspaces available in the building. The reception area is located on the third floor. Here, you can find a lot of helpful administrative staff and research technicians who provide support for the variety of neuroscience research in the building. Located on the fourth, fifth, and sixth floors are our workspaces and cubicle areas. These workspaces are designed to promote and foster an open collaborative environment for students, trainees, and faculty members. These floors also host a variety of meeting rooms with video conferencing capabilities and whiteboard walls for brainstorming sessions. There are also hoteling offices for visiting scholars and a variety of other meeting spaces. As part of a brain scan initiative, the sixth floor houses an equity, diversity, and inclusion space for our community members. The fourth floor has a large lunchroom with a kitchenette and eating area. In the lunchroom, we take turns hosting a twice weekly coffee break with snacks. There is also a projector in the lunchroom, which makes it another great place to hold meetings. Occasionally following our coffee break, we host invited guest speakers as part of our Coffee Talk series. Now let's look at some of the testing spaces and equipment we have in the building. First, let's look at the second floor. On the second floor, we have our EEG lab. We have a variety of EEG systems ranging from 14 to 128 channels, which are shared resources for our users. The EEG prep room is where we get our participants set up before taking them to their testing space. We have electrically shielded rooms along with small and large sound booths where we can conduct our EEG research. In this video, you can see one of our researchers setting up an 128 channel EGI cap in one of our large sound booths. The EEG research being done in our building spans across a variety of fields in the cognitive neuroscience area. Our EEG systems can also be used in conjunction with a variety of other neuroscience equipment, such as a geodesic sensor net for measuring the positions of electrodes on the head. We can also measure eye movements using eye tracking. We also have MRI compatible EEG kits, along with FNIRS compatible EEG caps for simultaneous EEG and imaging research. Speaking of imaging, the FNIRS lab is also located on the second floor. FNIRS stands for Functional Near Infrared Spectroscopy and is a relatively new imaging technique. In our building, we have two FNIRS systems that have both laser and LED sources to measure changes in blood flow in the brain. Our systems are the Near Scout systems from NIRX and have the capability of whole brain coverage with up to 64 channels. In addition, the benefit of having two systems is that we can do a tandem configuration and conduct hyperscanning studies with more than one person set up with FNIRS. The devices are also relatively portable, which means our researchers can conduct FNIRS studies in this building and other places on campus, such as Robarts Research Institute and the University Hospital. In this video, you can see someone being set up with an FNIRS cap which is similar to the setup of an EEG study. FNIRS is also compatible with other modalities such as EEG, fMRI, eye tracking, cochlear implants, TMS, TDCS, and EMG for simultaneous measurements. The second floor is also home to our fully equipped four bedroom sleep lab. In here we have 32 and 64 channel EEG systems along with polysonography systems for recording and analyzing overnight or nap sleep studies. In this video, you can see a person being set up for one of our multimodal experiments. The cap is comprised of both EEG and FNIRS probes for measuring brain activity while sleeping. 
The largest sound attenuation room on the second floor houses a specialized auditory stimulus presentation system referred to as the Audiodome. What makes this piece of equipment so special is that there are only a few of these in the world. This 91 speaker spherical array plus eight subwoofer speakers is capable of reproducing highly realistic virtual soundscapes. For example, you could be transported to a very busy restaurant or even a noisy city street. The purpose of this is to investigate how participants process sound information in various settings. This system is capable of being used in combination with other research equipment such as the virtual reality you see in the video, FNIRS, and EEG. The Developmental Cognitive Neuroscience Area, also known as the DCN, is located on the second floor of the building and focuses mainly on cognitive development and processing in child-adolescent populations, both typical and atypical. The DCN area is home to an MRI simulator. This is used to acclimatize participants to the noise and confinement of an actual fMRI scanner, while also providing head movement data for fMRI inclusion-exclusion determination. In the video, you can see our simulation scanner, along with the book we provide to children participating in our brain research. This gives them a better understanding of what their visit to the lab will look like, and we even give them a picture of their brain afterwards. Other research tools typically used in the DCN area include FNIRS, EEG, eye tracking, behavioral monitoring, and other computer-based tasks and assessments. Now let's move to the third floor testing areas. First, we have the gate lab, which is equipped with a xenosensory walkway that measures a variety of gate patterns and characteristics. Research members use this walkway to better understand how people walk and why we move to music. Gate studies in the building have sought to understand the effectiveness of gait therapies, such as rhythmic auditory stimulation, to improve gait especially with those with neurodegenerative disorders, such as Parkinson's disease. The walkway can also be used in combination with other equipment, such as portable FNIRs, EEG, and virtual reality. We also have a Parkinson's disease research lab that is outfitted with a driving simulator, virtual reality equipment, and other cognitive testing rooms and equipment. In this video, you can see someone practicing their driving skills on our driving simulator, which is the VS500, and is built with the most advanced simulation software available. This simulator is also built with actual car components, providing a fully immersive and realistic experience for our participants. The purpose of these facilities is to assess performance during visual spatial tasks and assess cognition with a variety of neurophysiological tests. The third floor also houses rooms with five reaching robots. We have both single and dual arm reaching robots that can be utilized in sensory, motor, and cognitive neuroscience research. These systems are used to investigate the coordination of multi-joint movements. These robotic arms are also capable of manipulating visual feedback or perturbing the motor movements during movement execution. The robot arms, like most of our other equipment, can be used in combination with other neuroscience equipment such as TMS and eye tracking. There are two large testing spaces on the third floor that are outfitted with OptiTrack camera systems which are capable of tracking the 3D position of active infrared markers. Once these infrared markers are attached to participants, the OptiTrack system can quantify participant motor movements during experimental tasks. This is similar to how motion capture technologies are used in the film industry. For example, markers mounted on the hand and arm can be used to quantify hand shaping behaviors as well as reaching trajectories and velocities that are performed during reaching and grasping actions. While these motion tracking systems can be used in isolation, they are more often used in combination with our eye tracking equipment and virtual reality systems, giving researchers the ability to answer more complex research questions and gain a more comprehensive understanding of motor tasks 
during hand-eye coordination. The third floor also has various testing rooms and equipment for measuring physiological data. We have biopack systems that measure data such as facial EMG, ECG, and galvanic skin response. We also have CN systems to measure participant blood pressure. We have a designated research space for mindfulness meditation research as some of our researchers are interested in the behavioral and physiological responses to mindfulness practice. The third floor is also home to a specially shielded room for conducting microneurography research, which is the recording of peripheral nerve activity in awake human participants. This is done by carefully placing electrodes into the skin adjacent to the sensory neuron axons so researchers can determine neural function. This type of research is highly informative to our understanding of peripheral sensory processing from receptors in the skin and muscles. The third floor has various rooms dedicated for TMS research. TMS stands for Transcranial Magnetic Stimulation. Our most recent TMS system was purchased in 2021 and is the new Brain Box Duo Mag MP system. We also have various MagStim Rapid 2 systems. Our TMS systems are capable of single and dual pulse, RTMS, and Theta Burst. Researchers using TMS methods can investigate interconnected neural activity by stimulating a local region of the brain in a non-invasive way and by measuring how this interferes with a particular task. In this video, one of our researchers has the TMS coil placed over a particular place on their scalp, and to measure the response of the TMS, EMG electrodes are attached to an area, in this case it's the hand, and the reaction we see here is the change in the magnetic field from the TMS pulse. In addition to all the equipment discussed, many researchers require a quiet place in which to conduct pencil and paper or computer-based tasks, as well as for conducting interviews. There are numerous general testing rooms in our facilities that are equipped with a table and chairs, along with a desktop computer with internet. Researchers are more than welcome to install any needed software on these systems and can bring in their own testing laptops should they require. Thank you for taking the time to join me on this virtual tour of the Cognitive Neuroscience Research Areas in the Western Interdisciplinary Research Building.